Thousands of emperor penguin chicks have died due to the sea ice that they live on breaking up early before they had fledged. Emperor penguins rely on stable sea ice that is firmly attached to the shore, known as landfast ice, for breeding. They also need ice as a platform to rest on, as a refuge from predators and for molting. The landfast ice that they breed on needs to remain stable for approximately nine months. From April, when the penguins first start their courtship, until January, when the chicks fledge. They lay their eggs in May to June, and it takes 65 days for the eggs to hatch. The chicks then need to grow and develop waterproof feathers to be able to swim. If the ice breaks up, and they still have their cute downy plumage, that plumage becomes waterlogged. They then drown or freeze to death. It is not until December or January that the chicks have fully developed their adult feathers and are safe to head out to sea. Unfortunately, scientists using satellite data from the Bellingshausen Sea found that the sea ice at the penguin rookeries started to fragment in November before thousands of chicks had fledged. Penguins themselves are too small to see by satellite, but the colonies leave brownish patches on the ice which are stains left by their droppings. It is the stains that can be detected by satellites and the number of penguins estimated from them. The scientists could see exactly where the colonies were and then as the sea ice broke up beneath the colonies, the colonies simply disappeared. There is little doubt that thousands of chicks will have died. The colonies in question are in the central and eastern part of the Bellingshausen Sea. There are five colonies and all but one was affected by early sea ice loss. They were all visible from satellite in late October or early November, but by early December the colonies had been abandoned as the sea ice broke up. Ferdy Inlet Colony was first discovered by satellite in 2018, and every year up until 2022, sea ice in the bay did not break up until the new year. In 2022, the landfast ice broke up between the 31st of October and the 4th of November and had completely disappeared by early December. Smiley Island Colony was first discovered in 2009 and has an estimated average of 3,500 pairs. Satellite imagery shows that over the last 10 years, fast ice remained intact until early December, but in 2022 it broke up in mid-November. Bryant Coast Colony was discovered in 2014. In all years, multi-year fast ice persisted all year round. However, in 2022, by the 25th of November, the sea ice edge was approaching the colony and by the 29th, the fast ice had broken into pack ice. There was a little brown staining on some of the broken pack ice, but this had disappeared by the 2nd of December, which suggested to scientists that the colony had been abandoned. The fourth colony to be abandoned is Frockner Point Colony, which was only discovered in 2019 and is actually situated on the ice shelf. There was a lack of brown stain on the 8th of November and by the 12th of December the sea ice had dissipated. As the colony was situated on the ice shelf, not the sea ice, the reason for the abandonment of the colony is hard to determine. However, a possible reason could be because there was a snow ramp between the sea ice and the ice shelf which enabled the adults to get to the colony on the ice shelf. Satellite images show that in early October the sea ice beneath the ramp appeared to have broken up which meant that the ramp would no longer be there. The adults would then have not been able to get back to their chicks to feed them and tragically would have had to abandon the colony. The only colony not to have been abandoned is Rothschild Island Colony, the most northern colony of these five sites. It averages around 700 breeding pairs and happily satellite imagery on the 5th of December showed that fast ice beneath the colony was still there and it had not been abandoned, even though there were a few open water patches near the colony. Aerial images showed that there were 820 chicks and 220 adults so there was at least some success in the Bellingshausen Sea. Satellite imagery showed that the ice did not start to break up until the 30th of December. The colony is located in a bay between Alexander Island and Rothschild Island 
and it is thought that the geometry of the bay and the presence of icebergs may have helped stabilise and given protection to the sea ice. So what is causing all the land fast ice to melt? It is due, a large part, to anthropogenic climate change. It is well documented that over the past seven years Antarctic sea ice has decreased significantly. Using satellite data spanning a 45 year period, it is possible to see that Antarctica has experienced the four lowest sea ice extents since 2016, with the two lowest years in 2021-22 and 22-23. At the beginning of December 2022, Antarctic sea ice extent was the lowest ever experienced. The most extreme loss was seen in the central and eastern Bellingshausen Sea region, where there was 100% loss of sea ice in November 2022, and it is looking as if 2023 is going to be just as bad. This August, the sea ice extent was still far below all previous records for this time of year. It is at this time that oceans are freezing up, but scientists were seeing areas that were still largely ice free. In fact, the area of ice missing this August from the Bellingshausen Sea is as big as Greenland and is significantly bigger than that which was missing last year at this time. But this lack of sea ice in the Bellingshausen Sea is not solely due to anthropogenic climate change. Year-to-year -year changes in sea ice extent are also linked to natural atmospheric patterns such as the El Nino Southern Oscillation, the strength of the Southern Hemisphere jet stream and regional low pressure systems. So this lack of sea ice is also likely to be influenced by the triple dip La Nina that is affecting many areas of the Southern Pacific at the present time. I'm not going to go into this here. Suffice to say, once the La Nina weakens, it is anticipated that sea ice extent in the Bellingshausen Sea may grow. However, as discussed above, data from sea ice records and the warming of the subsurface Southern Ocean point strongly to anthropogenic global warming and the abandonment of the penguin colonies show a link with the early breakup of sea ice and emperor penguin breeding failures. So what does this say about the future of the iconic emperor penguin? Well already about 30% of the known 62 emperor penguin colonies in Antarctica have been affected by partial or total sea ice loss since 2018. An example that I wrote a video about occurred at Halley Bay in the Weddell Sea. There was a loss of local sea ice in 2016 and again in 2017 which resulted in the death of nearly all the chicks. But the following year most of the clever penguins relocated their breeding site to another colony 55 kilometres south at Dawson Lampton where the sea ice was more stable. However, if breeding habitats are unstable at a regional scale, as was seen in the Bellingshausen Sea, this strategy will not work. Some scientists have concluded that even if we stopped emitting greenhouse gases today, climate change will continue to affect sea ice well into the future, and that emperor penguins are in danger of becoming extinct throughout a significant proportion of their range. Tragically, the sea ice loss that occurred in the Bellingshausen Sea last year looks set to occur again this year, with catastrophic effect on the chicks. And it shouldn't matter whether they are cute or not, but somehow it does, and makes it all the more heartbreaking. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and share with your like-minded friends. And don't forget to put your notifications on.